SpaceX has set the bar so high with their recent achievements that people are now getting extremely optimistic about the next Starship flight. They exceeded all expectations during Flight 5, especially with their mid-air catch of the Super Heavy booster, something that felt like a scene straight out of a science fiction. The success of this catching system made headlines across the globe, and now many believe SpaceX will deliver something even more mind-blowing for Flight 6, catching both the booster and the upper stage using the Mechazilla system. SpaceX is already gearing up for this next flight, and while they're working on upgrades to the Starship itself, they are also heavily focused on enhancing the orbital launch system. What they've already done to improve the launch pad will blow your mind, and we're going to dive into all of that in today's video. But before we get into the details, make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on all of SpaceX's groundbreaking achievements and future Starship developments. What's interesting about Starship launches is that all the five lock inches so far have been better than the previous flight. For example, at first glance, the Starship's launch pad may seem like a simple concrete structure, but in reality, it is a highly complex and critical piece of infrastructure that is just as important as the rocket itself. No matter how advanced the rocket is, if the infrastructure holding and launching it isn't designed to handle the extreme forces, the launch is bound to encounter problems. Building such a strong and massive launch pad is a challenging and costly endeavor that takes years of planning and billions of dollars to execute. The importance of the launch pad was seen during Starship's first launch attempt when the rocket exploded. Musk famously referred to that mission as a success, but not because the rocket performed as expected. In fact, it didn't. He called it a success primarily because the launch pad was not significantly damaged. This underscored just how vital the launch infrastructure is for future missions. Initially, SpaceX didn't use a water deluge system for Starship's first launch attempt, which proved to be a miscalculation. The absence of a deluge system, which is typically used to protect the launch pad from extreme heat and pressure, resulted in severe damage to the pad. The intense heat from Starship's 33 Raptor engines was so powerful that it not only caused substantial erosion to the concrete below the rocket, but it also sent chunks of debris flying hundreds of meters away, damaging nearby equipment. It became clear that simply relying on concrete wasn't enough. After the first launch, SpaceX quickly moved to install a water deluge system for the second launch attempt. Water deluge systems are widely used in the aerospace industry to cool down the launch pad during a rocket launch. The system works by flooding the launch pad with water at high volumes right before and during engine ignition. This helps absorb the heat, dampen the acoustic energy, and reduce the pressure that hits the pad, protecting it from being destroyed by the rocket's engines. But even water deluge systems have their limits, especially for rockets as powerful as Starship. During launches, the temperatures at the pad can reach over 3,300 degrees Celsius. Water deluge systems are effective at reducing heat, but they are not perfect solutions. The extreme heat and pressure generated by Starship's 33 Raptor engines, producing a thrust of over 7,500 tons, can be too much for water deluge systems alone. Although water can absorb heat, the volume and intensity of heat generated by Starship means that a deluge system on its own might not withstand the repeated launches that SpaceX is aiming for. After just a few flights, the water-cooled steel plates on Pad A started showing signs of wear, demonstrating that more robust solutions were needed. This is where the flame trench system comes into play. A flame trench is designed to divert the heat, flames, and pressure away from the pad during a rocket launch. Unlike water deluge systems, which try to absorb and dampen the heat and pressure, flame trenches channel them away from the launch pad entirely. This makes them more effective for rockets that produce extremely high levels of thrust, like the Starship. For future launches, SpaceX is focusing on integrating a flame trench system into their infrastructure particularly at Launch Pad B, which is currently under construction. This flame trench will be a significant upgrade over the water-cooled steel plates used on Pad A. Flame trenches have been used successfully in past space missions, such as NASA's Saturn V and Space Shuttle programs, and have proven to be more durable under extreme conditions. 
By directing the heat and pressure away from the pad, flame trenches help extend the lifespan of the launch infrastructure. In addition to the flame trench, SpaceX is also upgrading other elements of the launch pad, such as the orbital launch mount. The launch mount will be stronger and better equipped to handle the higher thrust levels that future Starship variants are expected to produce. Musk recently announced that SpaceX is designing the next version of Starship to produce up to 10,000 tons of thrust, nearly three times the power of NASA's Saturn V rocket. To accommodate this massive increase in power, SpaceX is constructing Launch Pad B with significant upgrades over Pad A. These upgrades include reinforced structural elements, better heat protection, and an improved catch system for recovering the Super Heavy booster. The new launch mount will feature a more robust chopstick system for catching the booster mid-air. SpaceX is not only focusing on its launch mount infrastructure, but also advancing its propulsion systems. One of the most critical developments in this regard is the introduction of the Raptor 3 engines, which were unveiled recently and are slated to power the next generation of Starship, known as Starship 5-2. The Raptor 3 engine represents a significant leap forward from the earlier Raptor 2 and the original Raptor engines. Each Raptor 3 engine produces a remarkable 280 tons of thrust at sea level, which is 20 tons more than the Raptor 2, which delivered around 260 tons. In contrast, the original Raptor 1 engines produced about 200 tons of thrust, making the latest version a substantial improvement in terms of power output. This increased thrust is essential as SpaceX pushes the limits of what its Starship can do, particularly for missions involving heavier payloads and longer distances. With 33 Raptor 3 engines powering the Super Heavy booster, Starship V-2 is expected to achieve a maximum liftoff thrust of 9,240 tons. This is an enormous amount of power, essential for pushing the fully loaded Starship off Earth's surface and into orbit. However, in early test flights, SpaceX plans to operate these engines below full capacity to ensure safety and reliability as is standard practice when testing new rocket technology. As SpaceX scales up, the company is aiming to conduct up to 25 Starship launches per year, and this number could increase significantly as demand for space missions grows. Musk has publicly stated that SpaceX's vision includes sending 1 million tons of supplies to Mars over the next decade. To accomplish this, SpaceX will need to carry out up to 10 missions per year, with each mission transporting up to 200 tons of cargo. For those who didn't see the Starship launch in person, I've got a surprise. You can still experience it with a realistic Starship model made just for our loyal viewers. Since you've watched this far, we know you're one of them. Head to the link in the description to grab yours now and relive space history. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next video.